That's what happened to the wife of TV star Paul Michael Glazer. We talked to her in 1991. It began like a Hollywood fairy tale. A handsome actor, Paul Michael Glazer, shot to fame in the hit series Starsky and Hutch. Elizabeth Meyer was a pretty school teacher whose smile just won his heart. They had two children, Ariel and Jake. But the fairy tale began to tragically unravel when Ariel turned four and came down with a mysterious illness. It was discovered that Elizabeth had received AIDS-tainted blood from the hospital and had unknowingly passed it on to both of her babies. Following Ariel's death, the tabloids just feasted on the family's tragedy. Robbed of their privacy, the Glazers decided to go public with their story, even taking their appeal for more research funds to Capitol Hill. We have already lost one child to AIDS. Our daughter Ariel, who died a year and a half ago. No mother ever really believes that her child is going to die. I didn't. It's <sighs> still very hard. <clears throat> uh, it is hard. Yeah. It was hard to say that line. I know. Of course, nothing in your life prepares you for the death of your child. I'm sure nothing prepares you for the diagnosis that this is AIDS either. No, that's no. right. But the most horrible part about it was within three minutes of the time that our doctor said to us, your daughter is infected and she is diagnosed as having AIDS, your son is infected and you are infected, he also said, don't tell anyone. Because the world is not ready for your family. How do you deal with it? I think, at least for me initially, there were two choices, to give up or to go on. Mm -hmm. And that's the first thing you face. And for me, I is decided to go on. Is it a conscious decision? It was a conscious decision mm -hmm. for me, very much so. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there were moments where I thought, this is too much. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know how I can handle this. I just, I may just have to throw in the towel and give up. Right, because oh, you think, because first of all, you told it, your son has it, your daughter has it, and you have it. So I am imagine only that you don't even have, I don't know who you deal with first. You deal with, oh, I have it, what's gonna happen to me? You always deal with your children always first. Always deal with your children first. Mm -hmm. I, I have it, at mm -hmm. least. I mean, I, I rarely think about my own health. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's just a mother's instinct, mm -hmm. is your immediate focus. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why I've been able to stay strong, is because my focus is not on myself, but on my children. Mm -hmm. But, and then when I decided, and when I found that I was not gonna give up, then, the question is, if you're gonna live, how are you going, going to, to live? live? Because after my daughter died, I was alive, but I felt dead for mm. months and months and months, and I couldn't change it. Um, even though I knew that's how I was feeling, I couldn't make it go away. And it was in time then that I realized that if I was gonna be alive, I'd better make every moment, every day of my life valuable. Mm. Because I don't have any time to waste. Right. I don't have any time to waste in the work that because you are in HIV, Washington. You're HIV positive. Mm -hmm. I'm HIV positive, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm. I haven't given up. I don't feel that this was a death sentence for me. Mm -hmm. I feel that there will be survivors mm -hmm. of AIDS. I feel that medicine is on the verge of important understandings every day. And mm -hmm. I feel that each day, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And so I have to live today. I can't look to the past because it's very painful, and I can't look to the future because it's very uncertain. How is your son? My son's doing great right now. Mm -hmm. He's just a happy kindergartner. He hits a mean baseball, and uh, he's a great kid. Mm. So, you know, his, I have to stay right here in the moment to make sure that the children are not forgotten. 